I just want to say a few words about uh, what's going on in the country and across the world. This uh, pandemic is uh, real scary. Everyone needs to listen to the experts and uh, stay safe. I went to Walmart this morning at uh, 6 o'clock. They have a uh, boomer morning from 6 to 7 where you have to be 60 to get in and buy a few things. So I was able to pick up some stuff. So please be safe. Hey uh, YouTube Model Railroad fans, this is going to be another build video. This one's on the uh, Centennial Mills background building. And I have a, the full model on my layout. And uh, I saw this on eBay. And I'm a sucker for a, a low price, so I got this. And uh, I thought I'd put it over on the shelf on my uh, background uh, layout area. So um, let me go through the parts quickly. And as usual, I'll show you some pictures along the way of building it. And then I'll uh, show you how it looks on my layout. Got a bunch of windows here. That's pretty normal. Got some uh, the actual window inserts. That uh, side front side there. They give you an extra one. This is actually extra. Here's the uh, one I'll actually use, although I might maybe put them together to make it look a little longer. Here's the, the side pieces. Since this is a background building, they're very, uh, very narrow. I think they're less than two inches. This is your uh, your base and uh, this is a, the the roof line and got a loading dock with it there and these are some ladders and uh, handrails not quite sure what some of these large black pieces are for that's not clear to me at this time here's the uh, the uh, loading dock roof and uh, some uh, filters I guess those are they go on the side of the, the building we got this other piece it's kind of an odd piece here that's that's an extra piece the instructions talk about getting extra pieces with it and I have no idea what you'd use that piece for but uh, I guess that'll go in my leftover box get some instructions here you can cut your roof and the base apparently if you want to put this in at an angle and there's a side putting the sides together this is the front with the roof and the ladders and the filters and stuff like that this is that extra piece they give you extra wall you can put together and uh, I guess just put it up next to the building I might try that. We'll see what that looks like. So, as I said, uh, I'll do some pictures along the way and then show you how it looks on my layout. Okay, this is the last part of this video showing the uh, Continental Mills background building. Although I put the uh, Red Wing Milling Company decal on it. Not sure if I like that or not, but uh, it really sticks out. Uh, that's not its final location. It's probably going to go down here with a red the red building is. I'll have to take out that tree and the, the control tower, re, redo that whole track area. And uh, but for now, that's uh, that's where it's at. I haven't anchored in the uh, flat part of the 
the right side of it, but uh, I want to move it down by the red building, so it's kind of in, uh, in the vicinity of the, uh, the original Continental Mills and also the feed, uh, feed building, and uh, so this would be kind of the, the green area of the, uh, of the layout. Here I'm, uh, one more thing, I'm just working on my new pond, trying to fill it in. I'm going to do that with a, maybe a blue, I'll paint a blue into part of that and experiment with uh, not making that uh, scenic water quite so dark. So uh, that'll be upcoming, I'll include that in uh, some other work I'm working on, so thanks for watching.